But yeah, so application process. So anybody okay. can go on and, and apply. Yes. So the application process is probably one of the easiest applications of any kind of assistance that there is out there. Mm -hmm. um, we do not ask for much. We want this to be the primary home. Um, and it is ages three through 17. And that is because three is the age deemed to be safe to sleep in a regular bed without right. safety rails. And 17 is because when you're 18, you're That's an it. adult. Right. So ages three through 17. And we don't ask for income verification. We just ask, how many beds do you need? And the other thing is, you do not have to apply for yourself. We have had school counselors, like guidance counselors, apply. Um, anybody that works in healthcare, there are three FQHCs in this town, which are federally qualified healthcare centers, mm -hmm. who are treating the underserved of our community. Those are probably the kind of people that we are working with because underserved, underfunded. Yeah. They might not have beds that they need. Let, so. me, let me interject one fact related mm -hmm. to that with Thrive, who I just interviewed Mer right. uh, Mimar. The stat that she talked about was 92,000 people in the greater Huntsville that don't have health insurance. Right. I would imagine, I would surmise, I'm going to go out on a limb, that there's, I'm, I'm sure, uh, a high percentage of those maybe in a situation where they don't have all the furnishings in their home. And there's going to yes. be some percentage that don't have um, a bed. Or, you know, pot potentially, or the things that we take for granted absolutely, that are readily available. But but go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. So I, I definitely have a heart for the community. I'm very familiar with nonprofits. Yeah. I've worked with one for almost 10 years, um, serving the community, lots of children there. And yes, those are exactly the people that need this mm -hmm. program. And even like this veteran mom that we talked about, she's back on her feet now. You know, she's situated here. She's good. She's giving back. Yeah. She just needed a moment, right? And so we're there in that moment, whether it's this is a long-term problem or this is a short-term problem, we still want to fill that need. So application is super simple, all online. We have QR codes everywhere, or you can go directly to our website, shpbeds.org. You search for the chapter, the Alabama Huntsville chapter, and you can apply for a bed. You can also apply to see what's coming up with our chapter, when our next build is, all that good stuff. And follow us on Facebook for sure because that's where the most information about our chapter is. We post pictures weekly of deliveries that we're doing. 